My name is Peter Goadsby. I'm a neurologist. I work as the director of the NIHR Wellcome Trust King's Clinical Research Facility in London, where I'm professor of neurology. and also a professor of neurology at the University of California, San Francisco. Migraine is an inherited episodic brain disease. It's a serious problem when it's there. It doesn't shorten life, it ruins it. It affects our most productive people in their, in their great middle years. What's wonderful about migraine is we're starting to understand the nature of the problem, the nature of the changes that happen in the brain, and we're starting to develop specific treatments, both for the attacks and to prevent migraine. There has never been a better time to understand the disorder, nor more opportunity to have it treated. Migraine patients do not have to be worried about long-term brain damage. It simply doesn't happen. Many patients I see are concerned when they have a brain scan, an MRI typically, that they have changes on their brain, they're told they have lesions. Well, the commonest misconception in the medical community is these changes uh, in the brain are mini strokes, they call them lesions or strokes or ischemic changes. There's no evidence that they're those at all. They don't correlate with any cognitive dysfunction in later life. They don't correlate with stroke risk. And in fact, with time, with time, instead of things getting worse, which is in terms of stroke risk, which is what happened in the population, the stroke risk for migraineurs, normal, my, migraine sufferers, normalises after the age of 45. Patients with migraine with aura are at a small risk of stroke compared to population controls or even patients without, uh, with migraine without aura. The risk is about what's called doubled. Uh, so the risk is one to two per hundred thousand and it goes up to uh, double that. So it's a double risk, which sounds big, but it's actually a relatively small risk. Now that risk only occurs in females with migraine with aura, and it actually only occurs till the age of 45. So once they get to the age of 45 and beyond, they actually the uh, risk goes away. We don't understand why, but I give my patients all the, the reassuring advice that they should continue to grow old because their risk goes away. If someone has a diagnosis of migraine, and doctor takes a history and you have migraine and you have a normal physical examination, getting a brain scan is worse than useless because the chance that you'll have a problem in your brain is about one in a thousand. And if you want to know more about it, go to the American Migraine Foundation website where all of us want to contribute information so we can, we can actually beat this problem.